Okay, Danielle, I'm sorry about the two videos. Listen, I want to ask you too, if you're the type of person that likes video, let me know. I think video is really suited perfectly for portfolio class. Not everybody likes portfolio. Um, likes portfolio. Not everybody um, really likes the, the video format. So let me know if you would prefer if I write this stuff out. Um, otherwise, I'll just continue with it. The video critique so anyways i so last and plus the last one was going so long i wanted to cut it short i like to keep these things under seven minutes or so last one was over 12 or something so sorry about that but anyways wanted to talk about um what's due this week and that is of course your um collateral design um and your thumbnails and process book now we talked about the thumbnails and process book now but in summary there it, this is it's just fabulous this is really really dark you can't read it um so is this and that's one problem i've got with this piece in general is that it's it's just it, you can't there's no contrast it's just too dark you've got some wonderful contrast down here showing the um uh, available date but it, you can't read this if you and if try this test just to roll back from your workstation about 10 feet take a look at this and you'll watch that type right there disappear um, I would uh, recommend trying to bring out some some, um, some some of the visual attributes of this type right here. Um, also, this is too big, available 10, 13, 61, because it's in direct competition with the actual title of, of the piece. So um, since this is left aligned, I would recommend left aligning this. Okay, instead of center aligning this, pull that date right over there, align it with that, and just get that whole thing aligned. Reduce the size of that, work with the visibility of that type. Also, I would take the background image, put it in a levels um, adjustment layer in Photoshop. Let's bring out some of the detail here. All we can see here is this wall. And it's fascinating, but we need to see more. We need to see that. That arch right there is, is probably a critical por portion of the image because it's holding that moon and, it's, and she's approaching it. And it's just, there's a lot of meaning there that we're not seeing because of the darkness of this, this piece, okay? Um, so that's your poster. Let's take a look at your individual ad layout. Now, I'm wondering about the size of this. This is a square format. It looks like you're, you have tried to um, design an ad based on the availability of this image, okay, which I think is a mistake. I think that in portfolio, uh, portfolio reviewers and hiring professionals are going to be looking for a traditional magazine ad layout, meaning uh, eight by 10 or eight and a half by 11 or somewhere very, very close to, to right in there. Okay. And <clears throat> excuse me. The other thing I want to say is once you do get this, you can use the same image. You're just going to have to do some creative cropping. Okay. I like the way you've got the bottle tucked in there. That's really nice shadows. Good job. They're really good placement. But I, I want to show you, like, if you take a Photoshop crop and go like this, like you're not going to be able to get this whole thing, obviously, but Think about eight by 10, okay, maybe like that. Something like that, okay, you get the idea. But you're gonna get that as close to eight by 10 as possible. Also, it's just that smart smart water, that's it, E equals MC. You gotta have some sort of call to action or something, some informational text block in your in your magazine ad. Let me show you an example. I, mean, I just actually went to uh, Smart Water and took a look at some of theirs. And I can see that you're, this is a, this is really good. You've got Einstein and, 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 she, and the Jennifer Aniston pieces are using her, but they got that color um, bottle in there. So it's kind of a continuation of that whole concept. Um, but you've got no type. See, notice, let's take a look at here. Tastes good. Glacial, smart water. These are really basic too. I would like to see some typography um, in your ad. Um, for two reasons. Number one, it's just another opportunity in portfolio to show your typographic prowess. And number two, it's going to be expected. I mean, because if we look at this uh, and, and a portfolio of yours, going to say exactly what I just said. They're going to go, oh, okay, MC squared. It's just that smart, nice placement of the bottle. But that's it. I mean, that's it. So I'd like to use this opportunity to show more of your skill in this particular piece within your portfolio. And I think the best way to do that is to add some typography. If we take a look at the ads, we can see, you can lift that type right there and add it in your, um, you know, there's type right there. And so do you see what I'm saying? So there's some type right there. So, so you really want to try to include some, some, some type in your, in your ad. Um, just to complete that. So let's go back here and you have your collateral design. So in collateral design, you've given us your, 
your what? You've given us your collateral design, your, your individual ad layout, and your poster, and your CD packaging. Okay, now CD packaging, let's go, and you know what, I want you to do, actually, you know what, I think you actually, yeah, you did. See this right here? In your thumbnails and process book, Boy, this is tough with your CD and packaging because you're using it in two different places. You're using it as your thumbnails and process book, and you're also trying to use it in your collateral design. I recommend let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this in your, in your collateral design because you're using it in two places. Let's get rid of this in your collateral design, and let's get try to concentrate on some more pieces. DVD, CD, you got posters, individual ad layouts, direct mail, brochures book covers and magazine covers. Now, if you're finding yourself short in these areas, there's a number of things you can do. Let me just give you an example. Okay. Um, this piece right here, and just be, you know, use your imagination. I'm just going to give some examples. This piece right here could be converted into a direct mailer um, simply by reformatting the size and, and, and uh, you know, putting the type on the back, the address and the mailing information on the back and the, the, the informational um, um, text on the back, as well as whatever mailing information you need. But that would be one possibility. Um, I mean, and based on some of the stuff that you showed, this right here, this, this, this painting, this could be turned into a couple of different things. Um, boy, a poster, what it is a poster is a painting. It could be turned into a poster. You could actually talk this as a poster for your uh, collateral design. Um, you could reformat this typography and add a, a, a title here. Remove this typography, keep the painting itself, and add a title. Byline. Book cover. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? The point is, is that we repurpose our work if we're finding ourselves coming short. Okay. All right. I hope this all makes sense. I wish I had some more to critique, but unfortunately, that's where we're at. I'd like you to, after watching these, I know there's a lot here. I'm really sorry about the length of these videos. But once you've watched these and compiled all the information, if you would like to resubmit and go through some of your other work, I'm here and I, I like teaching. So um, I'm not the type of guy that's going to go, uh, you know, get short with you because you've asked me for further to clarification or to look at different pieces or whatever. I'm here. Um, I'll look at as much as you want to show me, and that is my guarantee. <laughs> Excuse me. So uh, take it from there. Okay, any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to get with me. All right.